Hey everybody, welcome to a brand new episode of Song Theory. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. And in the description box below, you can get yourself a free trial of Amazon Music. It will be great because you'll be helping out the channel and yourself with some great music. Now today we're talking about Joji's new song, Test Drive. Yeah, I'm pretty quick with it. I know he just came out with the song, okay? But I got a theory for it because I watched it and I was like, yo, this theory makes sense. And I'll tell you why, okay? After the song, Slow Dancing in the Dark, Joji died. Now, if you didn't see my song theory on that, I'll put that in the i card above. Go click on it, go watch it. But after Joji died, I believe Test Drive, the music video, starts off with his soul being descended into hell. Now, I know what you're saying. That's not hell. Where's the fire? Where's the brimstone? Where's the demons with the pitchforks, man? Well, hell has not always been described that way. In fact, hell has been described in a completely different way by a gentleman named Dante in his very new classic book, Dante's Inferno. I'm lying, it's not new. It's like hundreds of years old. Let me explain. Denoted by the book Dante's Inferno, this circle of hell is, for, uh, is designed for those who live their lives for lust and fleshly pleasure. Now, we know this because uh, in this part of hell, people are tortured by high winds that blow them back and forth, thus never allowing them or their souls to experience any real peace. Now, in the music video, you don't see any high winds, right? You don't see them getting blown everywhere. But that's because that's not what you need to pay attention to. What you need to pay attention to is where he's located, which is the desert. Now, if you don't know this about the desert, near the ground, wind direction is affected by friction and by changes in topography. They range from gentle breeze to violent gusts at speeds greater than 300 kilometers per hour or 186 miles per hour. Which means if you connect the dots, after Joji's soul was lowered into this desert place, we now know it is the second circle of hell because the desert is known for high winds and gusts that are up to almost 190 miles per hour all over the world. Because this is, in my theory, the spiritual plane, I am positive that wind gusts can get much higher than this, but we're going to look over that just for a second because I want to give you another explanation as to why I believe he is dead and why I believe he is in the afterlife. Listen to this. Now, in addition to the high winds, that is not the only thing torturing him in this afterlife. He's being tortured by another woman who does not love him. In the lyrics, he says, I hate it when you taunt me. You've been calling the wrong line. I say, who do you want, babe? Further in the song, he says, she don't want to tell lies. She just want to feel alive. She just wanted more time. I'll see you in the next life. Now, once again, going back to the idea that his last video, Slow Dancing in the Dark, was him and his heart was broken. He was shot by Cupid's arrow. He fell in love with a girl that didn't love him back. And after he died, he ended up in this place. Now he's being tortured by another woman who does not love him back. According to the lyrics, when he says things like, I hate when you taunt me, who do you call me, what do you want, you're calling the wrong line, he's trying to tell her that he has nothing to do with her, he doesn't want to go through the pain that he went through when he was alive, trying to fall in love with a girl that didn't want him back. Okay? Now, this girl is hard. She does not care, she just keeps pursuing him. And in the lines that he explains right here, she don't want to tell lies, she just want to feel alive, she just wanted more time. What he's trying to explain to us is this girl possibly had a really hard life, which is probably why she is where she is now with him. The whole point is for her to feel alive again. She wants to feel that thrill of having another man in her life, the thrill of having someone that loves her back. But unfortunately, because they're in the afterlife, that simply means that her time is up. Now, He's in contact with this woman who has also died. And of course, like I said before, she's more than likely in this place because she's punished for her sins also. But she continues to torture him with an unrequited love. They both are empty and dead and want to feel alive again. They both ran out of time and want to start anew. The problem is, as much as he wants to see her in the next life, what he doesn't know is that there is no next life. 
My theory is a little dark, and I understand that, but I believe that Joji is coming up with this brand new idea of what I like to call the Joji Cinematic Universe. Now, I think that not all of his videos will connect, but I really do have the strong inclination that Slow Dancing in the Dark and the new video Test Drive have some strange connection. I'll do a recap. I believe he died at the end of Slow Dancing in the Dark. His soul descended into the second circle of hell because of his lust and fleshly pleasures that he tried to seek after in his previous life. After he got off of his chains, which you can literally see in the video, he's dragging them around and in the song he's explaining that there is a woman that is pressuring him, trying to get him to fall in love with her, but he simply refuses. She is upset and tries to explain to him that she simply wants to feel alive again. I believe this woman might actually be the one that you see on this moped. I think that is the woman that he's talking about. All of the weird imagery, like him sitting in the chair with a shotgun, him walking around with chains, and even sitting on the moped with a wedding dress, all symbolize his struggles with trying to get away from this woman, but the fact that he keeps being pulled in by her. Now, I know this theory is way out there, but I, it's a theory, man. This is the point of the show. It's called song theory. It's not all going to make sense. Okay, you people that comment below these videos, I get it. I know it's kind of weird, but it's fun to sit and think about, look at this, man. I write scripts. You see this? I write whole scripts talking about this stuff. You guys are tripping. Anyway, thank you so much for those that are sticking with the brother. Listen to what I have to say. I appreciate you all getting into the mindset of a theorist. You have to think like it's a theory. It's not always gonna make 100% sense. You connect dots. You connect the dots. Jesus, I can't explain that any more than I already have. Anyway. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you haven't seen Joji's new song, Test Drive, please go take a look at it. It's a great video. And I thank you all so much for subscribing, liking, and sharing. And once again, in the description box below, there is a free trial for Amazon Music. It's on you. You can help the channel out. It'd be great. I would really appreciate it. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Um, I love you guys so much. Thank you for all the great views and subscriptions and comments. I love you guys so much. I hope you all have a great day and a better tomorrow. God bless you. I'll see you guys later.